Didn't robots seriously say I'd hit that? Really? Oh great, we're being sworn surrounded. Gabe's not exactly the strongest one here. By any means. Wow, okay, we are getting swarmed like crazy. This is ridiculous. Tick, tick, tack, tack, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I almost screwed that up. Holy shit. Or at least I thought I screwed it up. Okay, what are these things? These are... I don't know what they are. But it's dead now. I feel like how Taiko can read a book and fight at the same time. That is pretty dope. Our time together is almost oh. at an end. Yonk Bamu. What? And to think I had such plans. Like the windsurfing? Plans that would have taken the fall. Once our windsurfing was concluded... That would have been nice, actually, to go windsurfing. There is no time. I send a mewling babe to battle steel devils on the rain-slick precipice of darkness. Well, I suppose it can't be helped. Let me leave you with this, at least. Your new friends have granted you a refuge in their supernatural agency. You may access it at any time by pressing the triangle button. From here you may travel about the city, examine your inventory, and research the current case. You might start by selecting the map and visiting a young woman by the name of Anne Claire. Charming girl. And with that, oh, I, can move. I wish you luck. Well, thank you. And faith. And time. Well, thank you, mysterious voice. That's in my head, apparently. I don't really understand the logo. Which logo? Our company logo. I don't get it. What's not to get? Here, I can break it down for you. Starling Development. I mean, that's the name of the agency. Gotta have that in there. Yeah, explain your logo. What is the meaning behind the symbol? I'm glad you asked. The beer symbolizes the responsible farce of the modern world. The eye represents the deep sight required to see through it. And, uh, the lightning bolt? Lightning bolt symbolizes being awesome. Fair enough. You gotta be awesome. I'm curious about the title. Why did you name it Startling Developments? I want to understand that part. That's because sometimes, you know, some shit happens and all of a sudden you're like, Whoa! Yes, I might have worded it differently, but I believe you have captured the spirit. I'm really enriched by this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to destroy that giant robot. Because he destroyed my house. Like, seriously. That was a nice house. I mean, sure, we lived on Desperation Street, but come on. It was a nice house. Up from the ashes. New map area unlocked. And Claire's Tycho's brilliant niece with a keen sense of science. For science. Let's explore it. You. That thing was like three stories tall. I already know. Someone else told me that. What's in here? There's more torpor. Siege brand armor. And I feel nothing inside. Wow. Thank you, Gabe. You make me feel. That is the tiniest police station I've ever seen. Seriously. That thing is puny. Oh, I have a max out and bandages. Holy shit. I guess I'm just too pro. View the map. Oh, I've killed all the robots. Huh. And Claire's room. Dear sweet Anne Claire, if only Mummy knew what you were up to so very late at night.
Would you like to? Yes, I would like to save. How thoughtful of you, game. Okay. Wow, this place is freaking messy. Hey, look, it's T. Kemper. I'm just gonna break that. Don't mind me. Good niece, you give me hope for this wasted and feral generation. Oh, and uncle, do you still battle with dark gods? On occasion. Your parents still seeing the world I take it? Yes, perpetually so. New Arcadia is a part of the, of the world as well, if they would remember to visit it. Ah, well, I have my studies and my tools and my hobbies, as it were. I see. I need not worry, then. And Claire smiles. Uncle, it is not I who lurks in crypts and such like. True child, very true. This is your niece? I have not had the pleasure. This is my darling niece, Anne Claire Forthwith. She has a fondness for machines, and they hurt. To feel the extent that machines feel fondness, I suppose. Well, that's very true. In any case, I sometimes bring her things she needs for her projects, and we have come to rely on her expertise. How do you do? Ah. Uh... Anne Claire Forthwith. You're Tycho's niece, but your last name isn't Bray? It's complex, because her father doesn't especially like being my brother. The Bray clan has a reputation for, hmm, a reputation for... Insanity? We like evil tombs. I don't know how else to say it. He left home as soon as he was able and changed his name. He's done well for himself. Nice place. I'm pleased you like it. It is a little cramped these days, but somehow I persevere. And look, I recently hung a new poster of Dr. Lars Krangel, world renowned roboticist. Hmm. Maybe he's one of the behind the giant robot. There is an extensive interview with him in this month's edition of Rolligig. What? I found him quite dreamy in the modern parlance. Wow, okay, I'm not being able to pronounce these words correctly. I'm such an idiot. I think you'll really like this case. We're tracking a giant robot. Seems like your kind of thing. My interest is piqued. Actually, there are several robots. I'm sorry, I'm not doing a very good female voice. I just... Eh, really? Not very good at voice acting, so I'm just kind of going to use my voice for all the characters. So these all sound one. It's a little weird, but I know. Actually, there are several robots. My heart is a flutter. I thought you might be pleased. There's all kinds of robots. There's a large robot, the one we just, the one that started my house, and a number of smaller ones that looked like it. They resemble one another? Strange. We've been collecting samples of the machines as we move about the city. I see these machines are not whole, then. Well, they were whole before we smashed them. That's... smash them. They're mean. They're pretty mean, yeah. The big one sort of wrecked my house, yeah. Yeah, and the big one wrecked my house. I don't know if I mentioned that. Even the smallest remnant of these machines could prove vital. You should find as many as you can. With enough parts, I will know more. We may even be able to use the parts themselves. Or should we start looking for clues? Well, size, the size of the size Macaulay, size oh seismically speaking, the Hobo Alley district has been spiking off the graph. That might be consistent with a bipedal mechanoid. Perhaps you should start your search there. Game is afoot. Hobo Alley, a spelly haven for hobos in mischief. Hobo Alley, then? You think Hobo Alley is our best bet? Indeed, I am certain of it. Return at once with any baubles. See you around, I guess. Indeed, I expect to see you often. Good hunting. Why do you talk to her like that? Like what? Like, thou ever who forth who forth so witting woo? I don't know, like some kind of asshole. <laughs> I'm going for more of a weird college professor. Weird is definitely coming across. We yeah, finally, someone who talks some sense. Honestly, I'm not sure why I do it. It's almost like our secret language. Well, I can hardly understand it. I guess it's working right then. I guess so. Time to move on. Thomas Kemper, you are an asshole. Let's, you know what, let's get a look at that poster. Let's look at that poster. Thank you. Poster of diminutive Dr. Lars Krenkel. Okay, well, that served absolutely no point. Okay, let's get out of here. To Hobo Alley.
I don't know, Desperation Street sounds bad. Hobo Alley. Hobo Alley is aptly named definitely worse. for... Well, I suppose you'll find out soon enough. And there's... A giant footprint already. Wow, fantastic. Ed Irene's eggplant looks like Lincoln. Eggplant looks like Lincoln? What, you have a beard? Hey you, you seem suspicious. Okay. Well, hello. Hey there. Hey. Sup? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. We said what was going on. I was just... Nobody. I was just... Nothing's going on. Okay. Alright. Great. Fine. Seen any huge robots lately? Uh, hey, have you seen any huge robots around here? No, no huge robots, but... But what? Do you, do you see any? Not right at the moment. No. What these footprints? Oh, those. Uh huh. Yeah, I heard they were putting in a new subway. Kind of rough part of town, huh? In some ways, but we're getting back on our feet. Goddamn wizards. What? Cheap rent around here? Oh, I'll bet the rent around here is pretty cheap. Oh, you're looking? Yeah, the rent's right as rain, but it's the landlords you gotta look out for. <laughs> the guy that runs the shithole up north, blonde fella. I'd probably stay away from that one. I kind of need a place to live. I need to start looking for a place to live. Well, like I said, they probably got rooms at the shithole, but you don't want them. God <laughs> that takes his hair real seriously. You gotta cover your eyes sometimes just from the gleaming. Wow. Must be some pretty good, good locks on that guy. I guess I'll see you around. Maybe. Okay. This kerosene jug looks exactly like a fire hydrant, which is a terrible idea. What? It's a kerosene jug? And I feel hollow inside. Well, that's fantastic. What's in here? Oh, fantastic robots. Because that's just what I want. Oh, really? You beat me to it, you son of a bitch. Oh shit, your speed's up, that's not good. Okay. Alright, I forgot, this game gets significantly harder as soon as you leave the starting area. Actually blocked me. A little bastard. I'm not doing guys are doing so good here. Saving up a special attack for Yay. Um Let's see, how do I do Gabe's thing? Oh shit, I gotta hammer this. the axe. Oh god. Woo! Wow, okay, that was significantly pointless. And I am almost dead. Holy shit. I love it up, though. That's nice. Okay. Let's keep going. It's giant football. And because just we investigate these slums before doing anything else. Okay, I guess we're apparently not going that way. Hey, you. Giant footprints. Nah, I think them's the new waiting pool. Okay. Oh, fantastic. More robots. Damn. Yeah, I'm not reading any of that, sorry. I don't, I'm making a robot bleed. 
Oh no. I, I fucked up. Okay, apparently he's just gonna bleed to death. Sucks for him. Is that a mine? 